It's basically an element that at that time when he talked about it, you know, decades before, was not on the periodic table. It didn't exist as an element. And so in, when you reference 2003, a joint team of Russians and U.S. scientists were doing particle collisions um, and they collided calcium with some other weird element. I can't remember the other element is way up there. Oh, and yeah, so yeah. They, okay. So they collided them about, uh, you know, almost uh, pretty fast, right? Not like speed of light fast, but fast enough. And it created a fusion process at that level in which it created the element of 115. And so they've created about 100 particles of um, 115 up to this point in time. It's, it's, it's expensive, but it's actually ironically less expensive than some of the lighter elements at say 113 or 114, which doesn't make much sense because usually the heavier elements are harder to produce the synthetic ones that don't exist naturally here on earth. And so because it's so hard to produce right through a particle accelerator, Bob Lazar's argument was that that element cannot be an element that is native to our planet because clearly if it was, we would have figured it out by now and it's so hard to produce. So therefore it must come from a different type of planet somewhere else in the universe for which that element exists naturally. 